hold of yourself, Gabriella. This is no time to panic. Maybe Cher doesn't worship Donna Chung as much as I do, so she won't care if she wins. Donna Chung? Like the very important fashion designer. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Makeover. Oh my gosh, is she actually gonna help me or is she like gonna like sabotage me? Have you never had a boyfriend? Not unless you count the kid in third grade who ate finger paint. How is that possible? Don't tell me you've never been kissed. To win a romantic dinner for two, be the third caller. Oh my gosh, am I gonna win? This is our make it or break it moment. Let's roll. Hey guys, it's Gabriella and welcome back to another episode of Clueless. If you didn't see the first episode, it's right up there. You can click it and watch it and come back. Before we get started and see what's going to happen, make sure you're following us on all our social medias. We have Snapchat, so grab your phone and scan that code. We have Instagram, so join the fam. And don't be bitter, follow us on Twitter. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Tomorrow's attire must be fly or you can kiss the internship goodbye. A warning about Donna day one? What am I gonna do? What is it? Nothing, just a reminder for us to be on time tomorrow. <gasps> what? I've gotta take this. I'll leave you girls to sort out the internship details. Me? At a nine to five? As if? <gasps> How am I going to ace D day one without Cher? I've got to figure this out. Who the heck is this? Guess I'm not getting a tip. <laughs> The next morning. Oh my gosh, my room is amazing! How can I compete with the Cher Horowitz? Her closet has been on the cover of every relevant fashion magazine. Twice! You were my first model, Dad. Aww. I can't let you down. <gasps> if I do, it's back to boarding school and I can kiss my Beverly Hills dream goodbye. I swear to you I'd make it happen. But Cher is so assembly gifted. She'll win this internship for sure. What can I do? Break down, buck up. No, you buck up, girl. It's time to rock and roll. Get a hold of yourself, Gabriella. This is no time to panic. Maybe Cher doesn't worship Donna Chung as much as I do, so she won't care if she wins. Regardless, I have to convince her to loan me something super fly to wear today. I can't meet Donna and day old duds. <gasps> Morning, judges. Read the flyer about you and Josh moving to Splitsville. Sorry, kitten. Thanks, Christian. But an evil darker than Shattered Heart is plaguing me. Daddy got me a summer internship. Josh's sister is working there too. Daddy invited her here for the summer. Oh, honey, hard labor is not going to look good on you. Can you imagine me on a lunch break? Sounds like Shara's company. And you know daddy has expected me to excel at everything. Then you'll have to be the best intern possible. Then how will I get her to help me? Barge in, eavesdrop, knock. No, just knock. <gasps> oh, please let that be my masseuse. Come in. <gasps> hey, Cher, it's just me. Guess my deep tissue solace will have to wait. Well, hello, Gabriella. The Beverly Hill boys are going to be lining up for this one. Gabriella, this is my friend Christian. He's a good friend and fashion advisor. I have a first firing ever to Um, the story is that? It means film director. Cool, and share about yesterday. Apologize, flatter her. What am I apologizing for? I just flatter her? Your style is amazing. That's why I want you on my side. This internship is huge for me. It might even get me out of boarding school. How can doing it in mini labor get you out of boarding school? Death by hair net? OMG, she doesn't know we're working at Donna Chung's. She doesn't know this is D-Day 1. This could totally give me an advantage. Well, tell Cher the truth. Be honest. Not. No, that's so mean. Like, if I want to get her on my good side, like, we have to be honest with each other. We're going to be fashion interns for Donna Chung. Oh. Donna Chung? Like, the very important fashion designer. Who does hecka mad things with fox fur? Whose faves and textiles are flowered, though she won't design with them herself? That's the one. Her clothings are life changing. And working for her could like literally change our lives. But you don't want to work this summer. Maybe I can touch your mail and get you out of it. No way. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. We have to prepare. Yikes. Now how can I convince her to help me? I can't do this without you, Cher. It'll totally up your cred. Um, I feel like I'll like keep flattering her to like get her to help me. I've only got my dirty clothes from yesterday. The airline lost my luggage. You cannot meet Donna Chung wearing day-old clothes. It's a known fact she's all about first impressions. 
And I want to impress her. I was hoping you'd be willing to loan me something. You have such an amazing taste and style. She speaks the truth. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The hot guy who cleans your pool is possibly single? No. Makeover. Oh, she's gonna help me. Normally, I'd suggest shopping, but there's no time. We have my next best thing to rodeo drive, my closet. It's where miracles happen. Designer attire are bounds. I know, Sheer's closet is the holy grail of fashion. I try to use my forces for good. Do you want to come hang, Christian? I'll pass, dollface. The last thing I want is to be back in the closet. Come on, Gabriella. Let's get dressed. Oh my gosh, is she actually going to help me or is she like going to like sabotage me? Wow, Cher, it's like a mall blew up in here. So, feedback. This is vintage Donna Chung. It's a tacky to wear Donna to Donna. Is an outfit a doubtfit? I can't believe she is asking me for fashion advice. Hmm, I'm thinking keep it Donna, ditch the Donna. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like, like they would be like, oh wow, like you're wearing my designs. Like, you know, like I feel like you should like you shouldn't wear like the designer that you're going to see. Like they already know what their stuff looks like. Reset, it's way too desperate. Harsh but true. <laughs> okay, let's get you some garment refreshment. Follow me. And remember, aside from faux fur, Donna's flowered fabric fanatic. Oh my gosh, I need this closet. The pics and La Mode influence didn't do this justice. You must have like a thousand articles of clothing. A thousand and four. I even have a couple of next season's Incogno Sorici's pieces. His flower power dress in two colors. From his fabled petals to the metal collection, I thought it was only a rumor. Rumors don't look that good with heels. Go ahead, try them on. Oh, that's so cute. Donna will be all over you in that. The colors totally pop. You think so? And she'll be way impressed that you're tight with Incogno. Or in Ig Ignacio. Ignacio, I think that's how you say that. And for sure think I'm the most apt intern. Last year's winner was specifically cited by Donna for her day one garb. Give the other one a go. Oh, that's so cute too! Donna will totally dig that too. The black and flowers is tri sophisticated. It fits so well. Ignacio is one of this year's fashion icons on the verge. And this will make me a fashion intern on the verge. Do you want to wear one of these designer dresses? Oh my gosh. Okay, what does this basic off the rack look like? Do you think it's gonna let me go back? Let me see. Uh... Oh wait, oh, okay, just now I was like, like literally thinking about actually zoning diamonds or something. I accidentally went with us to go with this one. Oh my goodness, I can't even. <laughs> Does it work? Not my idea of dress for success, but to each their own. Christian will still write though. Even in everyday wear, you're going to have to fight off the male species in that. Bring them on. As an older, wiser woman, trust me, that only leads to heartache. I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, describe. Have you never had a boyfriend? Not unless you count the kid in third grade who ate finger paint. I've never been on a date. How is that possible? Don't tell me, you've never been kissed. Okay, I won't tell you. Guess I haven't met the right guy. Project. Bummer, my impeccable matchmaking in sync is direct conflict with my broken heart. <laughs> Just a sec, D. I have to get this, I'll be down in five. Word, BTW, love your phone. It's an exclusive. They're not even on the market yet. Daddy reps their company. Wow, you're super lucky. This little flip is a life changer. It's opened a whole new world for me. I can reach friends at the mall, order pizza from the beach, call in radio constants from my car. It's limitless. That's so cool. See you downstairs. Oh my goodness. Are you having pizza for breakfast? It's kind of you to worry about Cher, Gabriella, but my mind's made up. She's doing the internship. Is this like cholesterol convention of America or what? Daddy, explain. It's called breakfast. Gabriella found it in the fridge. I like this kid. Did I do something wrong? Cold pizza at 8 a.m. is never wrong. 
I haven't had a decent meal since Lucy quit. I'm in heaven. That's where you'll be practicing law if you keep eating that. I'll make you a veggie smoothie. I'd rather be starving or dead. You know, we should get going anyway. We can't be late on our first day. Daddy, why didn't you tell me we'd be designing with Donna Chung? She's the goddess of faux fur. Faux who? I do her legal work, so she owed me. And that's working for Donna, not designing with. Got it? Sustain. Bye, Daddy. Wait, let me capture this moment of my two girls on their first day of work. <gasps> now we're out of here. Bye, Mel. He's totally going to fax this to all his friends. Are you mega stressed or what, Gabriella? This internship is a big deal. I refuse to go back to boarding school. I gotta follow my dream. Fashion is forbidden back there. There's a total lack of eye candy. Why is fashion forbidden there? What the heck? No, we gotta follow our dream. <sighs> my body is trapped in the halls of St. Vera's Prep when my soul yearns to be liberated in Beverly Hills. I'm cavelling. That was way deep. I bet your school is so rad. Well, I don't mean to brag, but Bronson Alcott High is academically and socially superior. I wish I could go there. Want to turn on the radio and find us some tunes? <sighs> I love the station. They have call-in contests all the time. The prizes are stellar. Except you need a cell phone in order to call. Then today must be your lucky day. There's one in the glove compartment. You carry an extra cell phone? No, silly. Daddy put it there for you. The cell phone will have an awesome impact on your internship, romance, and social life in Beverly Hills. Ooh. Do you want it? Oh, my gosh. Okay. My personal phone, a direct line. Dial me up. Nope. I want to be a social outcast. Okay. I guess we'll splurge for the phone. Because I feel like you have to have a phone. Wow. Thanks to Mel. He's the best. Daddy gets props. He's up your social standing with a simple swipe of his credit card. Hey, turn on the radio. <gasps> to win a romantic dinner for two, be the third caller. <gasps> Quick, use your phone and call. Oh my gosh, am I gonna win? Congratulations, caller number three, what's your name? Gabriella! Well, Gabriella, you are the lucky winner of a dinner for two at Le Brajage. <gasps> I won! Good thing you got that cell. Now we just have to put you a plus one for dinner. <gasps> we should get booking, we don't want to be late on day one. Done. Oh my goodness. That jogger came out of nowhere when I tried to switch lanes. I don't think the sidewalk is considered a lane. My bad. I failed my driver's test, but I'm equipped with a permit and fully intend to pass this summer. Okay, for now, just focus on staying between the lines and get us there on time. <gasps> okay, I'm freaking out to meet Donna Chung. Oh wait, that was me. <gasps> One of my all-time fashion idols. Totally. I think Donna's my spirit animal in a past life. I predict she and I will mesh. We're about to encounter the infamous Donna Day One. This is our make it or break it moment. Let's roll. Oh my goodness. I love there's so many people like the nose job things. Hey guys, can we get some cappuccinos? <laughs> I'd love one. The machine's on the second floor. Whatever. I meant for us. Hi, we're here for the internship? I'm Gabriella and this is Cher. I'll pray for you. This sounds even worse than expected. I hear her! She's close! Incoming! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! You, intern. I adhere those shoes. You're out. Be gone forever. You. Give me one reason why I shouldn't throw you out immediately. <gasps> me? What did I do? What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Will I make it? Will I survive? I have no idea. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can know as soon as the next video is up. And give us a like if you want me to stay in the fashion world and not get kicked out on day one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.